It's Monday, August 12th, 2013. I'm Ross Miller, and are those space pants you're wearing? I could really use a pair with intrinsic expansion properties and nigh discernible observational evidence. Mm -hmm. This is 90 seconds on the verge. This afternoon, Elon Musk revealed preliminary plans for the Hyperloop, a transportation system that would move passengers from Los Angeles to San Francisco in less than 30 minutes. According to the plans, the Hyperloop functions like a railgun and would transport aluminum pods up to 800 miles per hour in a tube that mostly follows along California's I-5. Musk said the ride would be smooth and quiet. Musk said he's probably not going to build it himself, but just in case you're curious, starts at $6 billion. We're just about a month away from autumn, but first things first, new iPhones. According to All Things D, Apple will unveil its follow-up to the iPhone 5 on September 10th. One question that remains is whether Apple will actually show multiple new devices. Rumors have been swirling of a new mid-range model made of cheaper materials. The report makes no mention of new iPads, but traditionally speaking, Apple usually does a separate event for its tablet lineup. Finally, Sony's hoping to make the idea of a camera phone a little more legit. Legitimacy sold separate. The so-called Lens G is just that, a lens, a sensor, and a few accoutrements needed to take photos. It'll snap onto the back of a phone and connect wirelessly to allow the phone's display to work as a viewfinder. Rumor has it there'll be a variety of these lens camera things and that they'll be about on par in performance with the Samsung Galaxy camera. That's it for today's top stories, but coming up tomorrow, I teach my pet otter how to use Snapchat. It's a little tough.